Okay, today we're going to look at uh, an oil burner and how it works and see if we can get some idea of the combustion of this oil. Now oil has to be turned into a gas before it will burn. So there's a nozzle inside that burner head down there that takes the high pressure oil and sprays it into a very fine mist. The mist galatomized oil. If it's small enough it will uh, light and uh, evaporate the rest of the droplets around it to complete the burn. Now this one's been disconnected on its spark so there's no spark when I light this up. Now you'll see we've got a fog. That is atomized oil. If I light it we get fire. Now this fire, if you look close, you can probably see a little bit of black smoke coming out of it. That's uh, normal for the way we're doing this. There's fire brick underneath it, but this does not have a combustion chamber. And a combustion chamber will help a lot here, because we need to evaporate all the oil. If you do not get it evaporated, it's not a clean burn. Um, Put a combustion chamber around these things. Most combustion chambers now are pretty much 360 degrees, which means they're all the way around it and they're reflecting heat back into it. A fire brick will do that. The fire brick takes quite a while to warm up. So we've gone away from the fire brick and we're using a silica type material for our combustion chambers. Um, as a comparison, the fire brick takes about five minutes to get full heat. The new combustion chambers are around 30 seconds. You need that heat reflecting back into the fire to complete the burn. Now if you look at this very closely, you can see a few little smoky things coming out of the bottom. That is unburned oil. It's not burning completely. This would not make a good, uh, a good fire. I've also got the combustion air setting very low. Now let's take and adjust that air and see what happens. I'm over here behind this. I've got quite a bit of heat coming off this thing. This is a good hot fire. Probably not going to work in a furnace because it's got too much smoke. But it's a hot fire. Let's see what happens if I add here. I'm adding here more and more. Notice this plate is much, much smaller. It's also putting off a lot less radiant heat. As I go, we don't put this fire completely out by putting too much air in there. The older I make this thing, the less chance there is of it staying wet, and the less heat output I get. Too much air is not good for this thing. This thing will uh, an awful lot of oil without very little heat if we put too much air. There I put it out. 